Hello, this is Isaac Harper with ATG, and I want to go ahead and show you another neat little trick that you can do with the field command. So let's say that you wanted to actually be able to select some objects so that you can get the linear lengths of them. A lot of times I work with audiovisual or uh, underground utility companies, and they always want to know, you know, how do I get the full length of everything that I'm running? without having to make it all into one polyline. Well, there's actually an easy way to do it. For example, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. And we'll just bring it like so. And you will notice that these are all separate pieces. That's not a polyline. So if I wanted to get a running total of this, first thing that I could do is I could go into the field command or, as you learn from my other recordings, that you can also insert a field through the text or M text. So once the text box appears, I'm going to go ahead, put in the normal nomenclature, and then I'm going to add field. And from here, we're going to use the object category, but this time we're going to use formula. Now, with the formula, it's almost like we get to add a field within a field and build a formula off that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click inside the formula area here, and you will notice I can right-click and immediately do another insert field. From here, I'm going to go ahead and do object, and this time we're actually just going to go ahead and use the object, select object, and I'm going to pick the first line and you will notice that it comes back and it says line and there's a whole bunch of different options and one of them is length and you will notice that I have drawn a line that is nine and a quarter inches long from here I'll hit OK and you will see that it puts that field value in my formula box from here I can go ahead and, and add another field by simply right clicking insert field It'll automatically default to the previous one, so we can just hit the button, select the next one, choose length, choose the same format, hit OK, and we'll go ahead and add the last one in there. Once again, we insert the field, we select the last line, and we choose length, and we hit OK. Once they have all been added in there, you can go ahead and hit the Evaluate button. Also, just to let you know, if you wanted to make this even a little bit more complex, we can also use parentheses that we're all used to seeing. For example, let's say that I were to do an open parenthesis and I want that length and then times another value and realize that that other value could be possibly a custom value that we learned in our last video tip when learning custom fields and that could automatically pull maybe perhaps I was doing a fence and I'm getting the length of all the pieces of fence and then I could go ahead and specify a custom height of what I wanted that to be. So I could literally right click in here, insert field, go back to all, and then I could choose that custom field if I had created one. Now from here I'm going to go ahead and hit the evaluate and you will notice that I'm doing an architectural format and I'm going to hit OK. You will now see that it has gone in and it is added that as the field. Now all we need to do is close the text editor and you will see that there is the length of all three of those lines. If I were to take some of these lines and adjust them, once again, just like before, regenerate the drawing, and it will automatically update the length. So each one of these will allow it to be able to update the information, keeping your length totals up to date. Once again, I'm Isaac Harper, and thank you for watching my AutoCAD Quick Tip.